Welcome to At The Trailhead. I'm Paul Prado. And this is my little friend. If you don't know it by now, this is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. If you notice his size, they grow to two to three and a half inches. And obviously you find them in the island of Madagascar. This is what we call a decomposer. And this guy is just so frisky. It's just interesting to see. If you look in front of him, this one's a male, and you can tell because he has plates here. He's got a shield, and he uses that to fight other males when trying to secure his territory and trying to gain dominance with all the females. As a decomposer, these guys live on the forest floor. They eat vegetation, and in your house and my house, they eat apples, pears, and other fruit. Mixed greens, if you have them. This particular roach, and yes, it's a cockroach, as you can see, it's pretty friendly. When these guys lock into battle with this armor, you would think that they would fight to the death but they don't. The weaker one usually gives up, crawls away, and the stronger male wins. If you notice right here on his back, on his shell here, little holes on the sides of, each, of his shell in the back, those are called spiracles. The Madagascar hissing cockroaches gets his name from that, forces the air through it to scare the bejeebers out of you. These beautiful creatures are used in monster movies, scary movies. Do you like this creepy crawler in your house? I would. If you notice also, it's got six legs. Insects have six legs. How many legs does the spider have? I'll let you figure that out. Isn't this beautiful? Makes a great Valentine gift for your wife. Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day. Madagascar hissing cockroaches always warm the hearts of many. Unlike Beethoven, this decomposer is still living. Isn't it an amazing creature? Look at that. Only a face a mother would love. I love it. You would too. So come on down to the exploration station. Whoa. Would you believe he's 5,000 years old? Doesn't look a day over 3,000.